Good day, everyone. Today I'm going to be reading you a story, an Australian story, about a dingo. Now, you might ask, where's Australia? Well, let's take a look here on the globe. Here we are in California, part of the United States of America, and here's the Pacific Ocean. If we go across the Pacific Ocean at an angle like this, keep on going down into there, we'll find this giant country, I mean this country that's like a giant island, and there is Australia. Now Australia has different animals than we do. We have mountain lions and bears and coyotes and the elegant deer up in the mountains. And down here in the valley, we have this beautiful bird that's white. It's called a white crane. Over in Australia, they have kangaroos, koala bears, warm bats, dingoes, which are a wild dog, and a strange little mammal called a platypus, which is a mammal that lays eggs. Let's continue our story over here. This is a book called Warm Bat Stew. Here's some of the characters now. Here's the emu. Kind of looks like an ostrich, but it's smaller. And down here is the little cute warm bat. Right here is a strange looking animal with a duck bill on its face, and that's the platypus. The book is by Marcia K. Vaughan, and it's illustrated by Pamela Lofts. Let's open up the book and see what we got here. Oh. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. I have no fear, that's not his face. His face is down here inside the bucket. He decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey brewy, Yummy, chewy, warm bat stew. That's a cute little warm bat's face. And up here we got a bird that's called a kookaburra. It has a very strange laughing sound when it talks, so that's what it is like. They call him a laughing bird. Well, Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said. Snapping his bill. What is all that water about? Oh, I'm brewing up a gooey chew stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. Well, if you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing about a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud? Dingo laughed. <laughs> What a good idea! Right now, in it goes. So Platypus scooped up big blocks of mud with his tail and flipped them into the billy can. Well, isn't that strange? In Australia, they call a bucket a billy can. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Warm batch do, warm batch do, gooey brewy, yummy chewy, warm batch do. Waltzing on the shade of the iron box came Emu. Iron box are, are definitely uh, eucalyptus trees. She arched her graceful necks over the broom. Oh. Ho, ho, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Why, it's gooey, chewy, warm bats do, boasted Dingo. Oh, if only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Hmm, Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Right out, in they go. So in the gooey brew, Emo dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, 
Crunchy Munchy for me lunchy Wombat Stew. Old Blue Tongue the Lizard came sliding off his sun -sto soaked stone. Silly Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. He stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to say about flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Right in, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them in the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around the bubbling Billy Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy, for me lunchy, wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped a chitna. Well, look at that crazy looking animal. It's like a porcupine with a anteater mouth. Wait a bit. Not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now nah, I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me. For a munchy stew, you need slugs, bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why? I should have thought of that. Righto! In they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them in the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. Look at those strange little dink, those little crawlies and slugs. Oh, my God. A very clever dingo stirred and stirred all the while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so noisy, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed on the scribbly bum tree. Look here, Yon. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Ha! Huh. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Right out! In they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. The fat wombat. Wait! Stop! Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat in the stew yet. Why not? Well, you haven't tasted it. Oh! Righto, I'll taste it. And the very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. Ah! Oh, I'm in the old! Oh, check me! And he dashed away deep in the bush, never again to sing, Warm bat stew, warm bat stew, gooey brewy, yummy chewy, warm bat stew. The end. Now you might all been wondering why um, I'm wearing this eye patch here. Well, a dingo bit my eye out!